Hey students, how is going on? Hope everyone is doing great. Are you ready for a class now? Then welcome to my class. This is Sultana Parfin, your English teacher from Bogura Cantonment Public School and College. Today I am going to discuss a lesson from class 8's English for today. At first, let's see some pictures. See? What are they doing? Yes, all of them are planting trees. And do you know why they are planting trees? Right, they are doing this great job because all of them love trees. And today, we are going to learn about such a person who loves trees and has planted thousands of trees all through his life. Okay? So today's topic is A man who loves trees and this is from unit 5 lesson 4 we will know more about this man what kind of person he is how he has fulfilled his mission and many more things but before that we will know the meanings of some new words we are going to face in the passage let's see first one profession that means occupation or job, what a man does for his living. Sapling, that means small plants. Passion, strong emotion or having craze for something. Gigantic, huge or very large, that means like a giant. Mission means goal or assignment. Hairdresser, that means barber, a man who cuts hair. And the last one, scorching, that means burning or unbearable heat. Okay, so as you know all the new uh, words, we can move for the passes now. Listen to me very carefully. At the furthest corner of Bangladesh, there is a village called Tarapur. In this village, there lives a man named Kartik Poramani. He is a hairdresser by profession, but nature lover at heart. His passion is to plant saplings, which grow into gigantic trees. He started planting trees when he was only 10 years old. He remembers what his father once told him. My son... You can earn the blessing of God by planting trees. He has never forgotten what his father told him. At present, he is 63 years old. He has planted hundreds of trees in his village. Many of his trees are now 35 to 40 years old. Once there were hardly any trees in this village. Kartik used to go to different houses for his job. At times, he would get tired in the scorching sun. But there were no trees under which he could sit and rest for a while. Thinking how people suffer in the heat, Kartik began his tree planting mission. Occasionally, Kartik would wake up early in the morning, take one or two laborers with him and set out to plant trees. He would walk long distances to plant trees, carrying with him some dry food and water. He would pay all his expenses from his own pocket. Kartik has planted trees beside the roads, in and around the bazaar, schools and colleges, open fields and many other places. At times it so happened that Kartik would go to water his plants at 10 or 11 pm. People asked him, Kartik, are you mad? What are you doing so late at night? Kartik would smile and say, what to do, sir? I have to work hard the whole day to earn for my family. I don't get time during the day. But my trees would die if I don't water them. So, I come late at night to look after them. Even today, this old man continues planting trees as many as he can. A man who can hardly sign his name is leaving his signature all around in nature. So, we have finished the passes and learned many things about Kartik Poramanik. Now, 
Do you want to see this great person? Okay, let me show you. This is that great person, Kartik Paramanik. He is taking care of plants. He is planting trees with others. In this situation, we need more and more persons like him to save the country, to save the world, right? Now we will see some multiple choice questions. Let's move. First one. What is Kartik by profession? Options are a cultivator, a day laborer, a tree planter, a hairdresser. The right answer is D, a hairdresser. Number two, Kartik bore the expenses of planting trees. The options are by the government, by the baked money, by himself, from an organization. And the right option is C. By himself. Number three. The word blessing means the options are God's favor and protection, God's disfavor, God's low esteem, God's disapproval. And the answer is God's favor and protection. Number four, when did he start planting trees? Options are in his boyhood, in his teenage, in his youth, in his old age. The right answer is A, in his boyhood. Number five, the word hardly in the passage means only just, not enough, Almost not or not quite, all the above. And the right answer is C, almost not or not quite. Number six, the word laborer means a person doing skilled manual work for wages, a person doing unskilled manual work for wages, a person doing unskilled mechanical work for wages. A person doing skilled official work for wages. And the right option is a person doing skilled manual work for wages. That means A. Number seven. Kartik would water the plants at night because the options are he was idle. He could not bear the sunlight. He liked night very much. He was busy during daytime. And the right answer is He was busy during daytime. And the last one. Number eight. His mission is to make the village green by cultivating paddy in the fields, growing grass in all the fallow land, planting many trees, planting fodder for the cattle. And the right option is planting many trees. So, we have finished the multiple choice questions. And now, we will see some answers to some short questions. Let's move. 1. Who is Kartik Paramanik? The answer is, Kartik Paramanik is a hairdresser by profession, but nature lover at heart. Question 2. How do you understand that he is a nature lover? The answer is, he plants trees wherever and whenever he can, and this passion indicates that he is a nature lover. Number three, what did his father tell him? The answer is, his father told him that he could earn the blessing of God by planting trees. Number four, 
how did he begin his tree planting mission the answer is thinking how people suffer in the heat kartik began his tree planting mission number 5 where did he plant trees the answer is kartik planted trees beside the roads in and around the bazaar schools and colleges open fields and many other places and the last one why did he water the plants at night the answer he had to work hard the whole day to earn for his family he didn't get any time during the day that is why he watered the plants at night so we have completed the short questions too and this is time for your homework students as you are taking preparation for jsc exam then write down a dialogue about it okay so your homework will be a dialogue between two friends about the preparation of your jsc examination so we are done with our class today i hope you all are studying well at home thank you all for attending the class stay well stay safe take care see you later bye bye